UX case study generators. A UX case study generator is a tool that serves up a hypothetical UX design project, an idea, a problem, a challenge, or an exercise that you can complete on your own to practice your UX skills or to use to create UX case studies and projects for your portfolio. Here are some of the best ones that I've found to help you practice and showcase your skills. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you some pros and cons of using these case study generators and some tips on how to make yourself really stand out with these. UX Challenge. UX Challenge provides prompts and exercises that allow you to practice your problem solving skills and create one-off projects for your portfolio. The challenges presented here have been created by UX designer Yachin and are based on real world problems. You can browse through a few different industries or categories on the homepage and then view the details of the project. Sharpen. With more than 15 million prompts available, there are lots of UX and product design prompts to choose from. To start, click on product slash UX and then click new challenge. If you like certain elements of the brief, you can lock those in place and then regenerate others until you find something that you like. Designer size. This fun game-like interface lets you choose the level of difficulty and gives you a timer so that you can test your speed. While this tool doesn't allow you to select a specific category, you can regenerate exercises until you find one that appeals to you. UX Tools Challenge If you need practice creating specific UX deliverables or applying certain user research methods, this is a great option. Click on a challenge to view a hypothetical scenario, instructions, and tutorials on how to approach the challenge. Uplabs Challenges Uplabs hosts open design challenges that you can enter for prizes. They have deadlines in place and the entries are reviewed via voting. Check out their active listings to see ongoing challenges and take a look at the submission details and requirements. You can also view past challenges and try your hand at them on your own or use them in your portfolio. 100 Days of Product Design 100 Days of Product is a series of design challenges that help you learn to tackle specific problems that arise in UX and product design roles such as running a design sprint, and prompts you to create deliverables around them. There's also a separate set of whiteboarding challenges that you can take in preparation for interviews. Our product design course is home to one of the best UX and product design case study generators you can find, yourself. You get to ideate on the concepts from scratch so that your work stands out as completely unique, perfectly suited to show who you are as a designer, your unique process, and ensures you stand out from the crowd. You also get free access to our portfolio builder on Notion that's helped our students easily create product case studies that have landed them their dream roles. So there are four main ways that I recommend applying these UX case study generators. Option one is self-practice. Use these as practice for yourself to develop your problem-solving skills, learning to manage your time and refining your workflow. You don't need to show this in your portfolio, but you can share it on social media and other places to get some feedback and get into the hang of doing projects and getting to know your own timing and process. Option two is UX case study creation. You can use these prompts for your UX portfolio to create UX case studies. Give yourself a deadline, deliberately choose a project and document the process as you go. Be mindful of the projects you choose and make sure that they align with your own unique positioning as a designer and with the opportunities that you want to attract more of. Option three, whiteboard challenge. You can work on these prompts in 45 minute sessions using a whiteboard like FigJam to show and tell your process. Record your screen so that you can replay it and share it with others for critique. This video could even be an incredible addition to your portfolio to showcase how you think and solve problems on the fly. Option four, take home exercise. To simulate a take home interview, a test or a challenge, you can tackle a prompt or a brief over the course of eight to 10 hours and see what you come up with. Now there are a few pros and cons about using case study generators that you should know about. Firstly, remember that if you have access to these design challenges and briefs, so do all the other designers. That means that there's a good chance your work might end up looking similar to their work if you're not careful. If you plan to feature these UX case studies in your portfolio, make sure to treat them as real UX projects, not just hypothetical exercises. 
That means conducting real user research, analyzing your findings, and documenting your process. This will go a long way in helping differentiate you from those that simply complete the challenge at face value. Keep in mind that these UX case study prompts are no substitute for real world or real work experience, such as a real business project you create, freelance job, client work, or open source projects. They cannot introduce the ambiguity of business requirements, changing stakeholder needs, and team dynamics that are most sought after in a hireable UX designer. If you're looking to use these as UX case studies in your portfolio, I recommend watching the next video on how to choose which case studies are best for you and how to create a magnetic case study that will actually get you noticed and hired.